everyone welcome back to the channel so right behind me is a very 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 cool bronco i have to say myself it's a 2022 ford bronco raptor so here you go right here it's behind uh eruption green you'll see we're, we're gonna start off with the tires because the other day i kept i was like starting off at the roof and i'm like well it's an mic top you've seen those before it's pretty cool but bf goodrich all-terrain ko2s now these are 37 inch from the factory that's pretty cool I think uh, I don't think any of the competitions even near that. Uh, now on the body panel, so you'll see this is eruption green, of course, like we just said. We have actual active louvers in the front fenders and the hood, so this thing can really breathe and extract some of that heat as you're going down the road. Um, the MIC top, like I said earlier, it's an MIC top. It's cool. I like it. Uh, there's a few reasons why it doesn't have a soft top on it, but you know, we'll we'll leave that up to another discussion. And 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 can you ever put one on there? Don't know yet. But this looks really complete with the MIC top the way it is. All right. So here you'll see the bolsters on the seat. Now, why is this important? Because when you're doing what this Bronco Raptor is capable of doing, you need to stay in the seat. You don't need to slide out of the seat. You're going to be seat belted in. But hey. These bolsters really help keep you planted and keep you there and keep you in control. Now you notice in this Bronco here, we have the code orange um, uh, accent. Also, you also have the Bronco in the dash already lettered. So you don't have to buy them aftermarket and do it yourself and maybe get something going. We're gonna put a picture of this in our thumbnail um, and also in the description below so you can get really see some of the details on it. Here's one thing that I really like too. I really like the fact that we can take our steps off the side of the Bronco as well. So this bolts directly to the rock rail. So if you're doing rock crawling, you can pull this off, make sure you get as much ground clearance as possible and approach and departure. Really that's in the front and the rear, but this, if you're going over apex, going over a rock, you don't want to bash it on there. That's what the rock rails are for. So everyday driving at the beach, off-roading, you know, in the mountains or so, keep them on there if you want to. Uh, it just depends on the terrain that you're on. So it's very functional, and your Bronco bolts hold that on, so your toolkit will take that off. Um, so we're going to walk back around the other side because I want to show you something else. In the grill, you'll notice that it doesn't say Bronco. It's got the traditional uh, uh, Ford Raptor look with the Ford logo or the actual Ford letters in there. Now, the wheels on this, there's a few different wheels that you can get, and I think we'll put that in the description below, so you'll get the actual different... Uh, different style wheels that you can get on it. Um, now, as far as the interior, uh, the seats are great. You have the suede right here. It's the suede feel leather seats. You have the bolsters in the front like we just talked about. Now, I think right here, I saw in a video, someone from Ford was talking about, this is going to get beat up pretty good from the rocks. So they made this replaceable. It also says accessory ready. What does that mean? Who knows what they have planned? There might be something there. And you'll notice the tail lights. Now we've talked about this in several videos that the tail lights right here have to be bigger because of the 37 inch tire. The bigger the tire, there's certain DOT regulations that you have to be able to see the lights from a certain distance. So they had to make the lights deeper or further off the vehicle this way so that when you're behind it, you can see it. Also the Bronco is 8.5 two inches wider in the front and 8.6 inches wider in the rear. What does that mean? That means that now we have to have three lights in the third brake light. We also have to have the amber light on the mirror because it's, an, it's wider. And also there's three amber lights right here in the grill. You still have your camera there. And by the way, if you notice your recovery points, they're a gray, different than the black traditional. You still have the modular bumper. We do have the extra, now these are off-road only, the fog lights right here. Uh, this is for on-road, you can use that, but on, uh, off-road, you, you can pull this uh, cover off, but you cannot use those on the road. You have to keep them covered up. So it's a pretty cool feature that you have them, you don't have to do it from the factory. Now, this suspension is awesome. The lower control arm has been beefed up. The shocks, bump stops, the frame is reinforced. It's not just a higher vehicle, bigger tires. It's completely, completely built for the Baja rock crawling and everything else. This Bronco Raptor is awesome. I can't wait to get my hands on one, drive one and review it. I think you're gonna like it. All right, so the drivetrain is simple. 3.0 EcoBoost V6 twin turbo. 10R60 transmission, Dana 44 uh, diff in the front, Dana 50 in the rear. 
I don't know the gearing. We're gonna put that in the comment below, but I'll tell you this is that from the videos that I've seen, this Bronco Raptor is super, super impressive. All right, so the fender flares. Some people like them, some people don't like them. Uh, I can tell you this, whatever your opinion is, when you see it in person, it most people here have said at Supercell uh, East 2022 have said one thing and looks better in person. I don't, I like it. I like the way it looks. I don't know, I'd probably take these off right here. Um, but everything else I like. So, you know, you know, when you buy a vehicle like this, you're, you should use this. It's built to use, it's built to run, it's built to be, uh, be aggressive. Um, you know, I like the, I like this uh, fact that we can change the exhaust sound on this. We have four different modes for that. Um, I like the fact that, uh, you, you know, you have bump stops on the lower control arm on the frame, the frames being reinforced. Uh, this Bronco is built. Also the paddle shifters, check this out. You want to do a little, little paddle shifting? You can do that as well. This steering wheel feels great. So the ac the uh, code orange accent, uh, you can see it in different spots. You also have the letters in the Bronco itself. You have that 12 inch touchscreen and you also have your normal hero switches. You also have your auxiliary switches. And how you like this? You can keep your steering wheel centered while you're in performance. You know, this is something that's great. When you're going fast, you're off-road, you're concentrating on the drive, the feel of the vehicle. Uh, it's just really helpful to know where center is. And the, the paddle shifters are just pretty daggone cool. I just like that as well. That steering wheel is really fat, feels good in your hand, feels good. I can imagine, I haven't driven one yet, but I can imagine what, the, what it feels like. The instrument cluster in this is digital, it's nice, it's a, like I said, the way it's laid out, this is a screen that I think we really, really want in our Broncos. All right, now one thing about the Raptor, obviously it's wider in the front, it's wider in the rear, it's just wider overall. You have the big fender flares, looks good, looks aggressive, it means business. Check this out, in the front, suspension travel is 13 inches in the front, in the rear it's 14 inches. Now just imagine that, think about just over a foot of travel between and also the computer works with the suspension on this and the shocks the fox shocks to help determine how much of that that you have i can't wait to drive it because i want to see what does that 13 or 14 inch of travel feel like um i'll tell you the lower control arms in this thing like i said earlier they're just huge uh the tie rod ends are bigger uh, the racks change. The racks bigger. It's it's a heavier duty. Let me just say that. I don't think dimension wise it's changed. Um, bump stops, lower control arm, uh, frame for that really aggressive suspension travel and movement. And I think you know the the hood scoop. Like you see the hood on this. It is active, right? You have holes underneath the hood. You can get some of that heat out. We talked about on the fenders as well. Look at the fuel door. The fuel door is obviously different. Not only is it smaller in height, but instead of pressing it in and popping out, you actually pull it open and then you close it. And then you're back on top of these fenders. This is the accessory ready panel we just talked about here. Pull that off if it's beat up. You know, I personally, I wouldn't paint the fender, uh, the fender flares. I wouldn't body match that. And the reason then is because whether you're off-road or on-road, you're gonna get some damage on the front side. Uh, now. There's some ideas about that. Maybe part of it's painted and from here down, you do something like a, like a bed liner type material on something pretty aggressive. But these tail lights are really awesome. And I can tell you right now, look underneath the suspension. They beef every single thing up. I like that differential cover. You can see it's unique to Raptor. Um, it's very cool. I like it. And you know what? With that big 37 inch tire hanging on the back of this, um, love that Raptor logo. Okay. With that 37 inch tire hanging on the back, Ford had to um, beef up the mounting hardware. So they did that exoskeleton and I think they even beefed up the hinges. I believe that's what I hear. Either way, this is new. This is holding that 37 inch, that massive 37 inch tire on the back of this Bronco. It's not gonna cause you any problem. There again, I try to remove these and that is it. All right, so I hope you like this pretty quick review of this. One of these days when we get our hands on one, we'll be able to do an extensive review, but this is at Supercell East in Townsend, Tennessee, 2022. And just a quick walk around. Some of the features, we're gonna do some other videos on this Bronco Raptor's a hot topic, obviously. And um, 
see what it's like when we get to drive one. All right, everyone, thanks. If you haven't already, please like the video, subscribe to our channel, and Gavin will be here later and do some more on it. See you.